I'm working with Word 2007. I'm going to go over a couple of things here. Bullets, the defaults for your fonts, etc., vertical spacing, and the paragraph markers. If you look at the screen here, we have four lines typed in. You see these little P's right here. Those are the paragraph markers. You click on this, shows, hides. On here, and you can see that you just hit the enter key once, but it looks kind of double spaced. If I go over here and I want to single space this, I highlight this. I click over here, I say single space. Um, but wait a minute, it's not doing it. What you have to do now is click on remove space after paragraph. This looks like the traditional single space that you get. And if I highlight these lines again, if I click inside here, it says 1.10. The default here is 1.15 in 2007. I changed this over here. The 1.15 just changed the breathing in between it. Some people do like it. Uh, the default font in here is Calibri. I have changed this to 12. But let's say you want to do things in Times New Roman 12 point. Many of you may like this. I do personally like the Calibri. If I want to do this, I could go here, click on the font here. A little drop down arrow here, and then I could choose Times New Roman. I want to make it 12. I got that. So if I want that, I click on default. This means next time I do this, it will be in the normal template. Say, oh, yes. So we've got that. Next thing I want to talk about, I want to talk about the bullets. If you want to have your text bulleted, we keep it highlighted. This is the bullet icon. You can click here. Shows different styles here. You got that live preview. I have that square box there. It's not even with the left margin. You want it even with the left margin. You've got over here decrease indent. You click on that. So you've got that done. You hit the enter key once. It's continuing the bullet. But let's say you don't want bullets. Hit the Enter key again, go down, and now you can go and continue typing in the rest of your report. Okay, I just typed in equal rand. I have three random paragraphs of text here. And as you see here, there's a P here, a P here, a P here. So we've got that in there. Now if I go down to the next paragraph, and I just type in the equal rand again, and if you want extra space in between, you can hit the Enter key. This is how we did it in the traditional Word 2003. However, if you have the defaults, I highlight these three paragraphs here. I click here, Add Space After Paragraph. That separates the spacing. However, let's say you want to go back to the traditional with the two paragraph markers in between. Uh, it doesn't take long to adapt to this methodology of doing things. And if I, however, if I do want to do it single space default, I click over here. I could change this to zero point after there. I could change this to one spacing here. And do you see what it says default again? If I click on that, that makes it the default for all future documents that you create. I say yes. Now, if I go and create a new sheet, I can click here on the Office button, New, Blank Document, Create. And if I type in the equal rand in this, it will show it in Times New Roman single space. So that way, you can go back to your traditional word look. Um, or when you're typing, you would always separate your paragraphs with a couple of things here. But going back to the other original document, you may find that additional space that you see down here to be preferential. Next thing I want to talk about here, I want to talk about numbering. Uh, if you have this here, you click on this, you got this numbered, okay? Very easy. Um, if you click here, and I could just say... octopus and if I want to move it I click on it highlight the line the five is not there and I can just click drag it up I got octopus below there uh, sometimes however when you're typing it may decide to automatically number 
I'm going in here, I type one period space. It starts to number. And you got this little thing here. You could stop it, undo it, whatever. You might want to do it. But let's say I'm doing a list. Eggs, cheese, butter. Um, on there. If I want to stop the numbering, hit the enter key again. What's nice, I click after, after cheese. Go here. And let's say I have to buy cheddar, American, and Swiss. Those should be indented. It's like an outline. I can highlight those three lines here. And then click on increase indent right up here. So you have A, B, and C. I hit the enter key. I'm now buying carrots. That doesn't have to go there. I could decrease the indent, change it to carrots. So those are a few of the tips working with this. It takes a bit of practice. You will adapt.